Have you ever eaten a big meal and then felt completely exhausted afterwards? You're not alone. Many people experience a phenomenon known as a food coma after eating a lot of food. But what exactly is a food coma and what causes it? First of all, it's important to understand that a food coma is not a medical term. It's a colloquial term used to describe the feeling of fatigue and drowsiness that can occur after eating a large meal. There are a few different factors that may contribute to this feeling. One factor is the release of a hormone called insulin. When we eat, our bodies release insulin to help regulate blood sugar levels. Insulin helps to convert the glucose in our bloodstream into energy that our cells can use. However, if we eat a lot of food, especially foods that are high in carbohydrates, our bodies may release too much insulin. This can lead to a drop in blood sugar levels, which can make us feel tired and sluggish. Another factor that may contribute to a food coma is the production of a hormone called serotonin. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that plays a role in mood and sleep. Some foods, such as carbohydrates, can increase the production of serotonin in the brain. This can lead to the feelings of relaxation and drowsiness. But it's not just hormones that can contribute to a food coma. The physical process of digestion can also play a role. After we eat, our bodies have to work to break down and absorb the nutrients from the food we've consumed. This process takes energy and can lead to feelings of fatigue. It's also worth noting that certain types of foods may be more likely to cause a food coma. Foods that are high in fat and carbohydrates, such as pizza or pasta, can be more likely to cause a food coma due to their effects on insulin and serotonin production. Alcohol can also contribute to feelings of drowsiness after a meal. So, what can we do to avoid a food coma? One option is to pay attention to portion sizes and try to eat smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day rather than large, infrequent meals. This can help to prevent spikes in insulin and serotonin levels and reduce the energy needed for digestion. It's also a good idea to include protein and fiber in your meals, as these nutrients can help to slow down the absorption of carbohydrates and prevent a sudden drop in blood sugar. In conclusion, a food coma is a common phenomenon that can occur after eating a large meal. Understanding the science behind food comas can help us make better choices when it comes to our diet and help us avoid that post-meal fatigue. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious.